The next argument focuses not so much on capitalism's productive ability, how much wealth it produces, but rather on the distribution of wealth in a society. One characteristic of capitalism in the modern world, uh, after the Industrial Revolution particularly, was the uh, development of mass production of goods, obviously, for the masses. Mass-produced clothing, mass-produced houses, mass-produced cars, mass-produced televisions, food, and so forth, all things that dramatically increase the average standard of living. So if your measure of a good society is increasing the average standard of living or increasing the standard of living that's enjoyed by the majority of people in a society, capitalism performs better than any other society. Compare capitalist societies with monarchies, with socialist societies, with fascist societies, with tribal societies, and so forth. All of them have demonstrably a much lower standard of living or the majority of people live less well than under capitalist societies.